So how do you inform other people in your life about what's going on with your patient's diagnosis and cancer? We think it's very important to engage your family in a discussion on what to discuss and how much to discuss with others within your social network, whether that be teachers, coaches, other parents, but also siblings and patients' friends. It's very important to determine who will know the information, how much information will they know. It's very important to provide more detailed information with caregivers or folks who will be helping you out on a day-to-day -day basis, but also to provide information that's brief enough to be able to provide others with information that might be important. Online forums are a fantastic way to provide lots of information to lots of people and you're not having to tell your entire story over again. So often families will tell us about using Caring Bridge, provide brief updates about diagnosis and treatment and what's to come next. Other folks might identify a representative for their family who can provide necessary information because mm -hmm. parents have a lot going on and it's really important that they don't necessarily have to stop and wonder who have I called, how many people do I have left to call, and who needs to know the information, but rather to have someone who they can contact a point of reference to provide those necessary and important details to help everyone kind of feel informed and can know how to support your family. Yeah, you make a great point. And I think especially with siblings, um, letting the siblings know who knows what and who in their daily life has a sense of what's going on in the family so that if they're at school, they know their teacher knows or they know their school counselor knows. If they're at sports practice, they know that their coach knows. Mm -hmm. We know oftentimes with kids of different ages that questions and coping can kind of come at unexpected times. If people in their world and their daily life know what's going on, they can hopefully all step in to provide support. If a child's at school, a sibling's at school, and they suddenly have questions or start to worry about a sibling, their teacher can provide that support or their school counselor can provide that support. It also gives parents some security to know that they don't have to be with them at all times. And, and you know, it's, it's something that's not possible, but we know that the other people in their support network can provide them with comfort and answer questions when the time comes. Mm -hmm. We know that with research and also from anecdotal evidence that siblings can also benefit from talking to people outside their social network, mm -hmm. outside their family network. And Elizabeth and I are always available to see siblings to help them cope with their siblings' diagnosis and treatment. Mm -hmm.